Recorded live. Good evening. This is Rich Bernardo, producer, director, mastermind, writer, and creator of the Crazy Insane Radio Series. All of this is my own original content and original material, and I hope that uh, the viewers on YouTube and Vimeo and on my various Facebook groups where this is posted are, are thoroughly enjoying it. I also post the show on Twitter often. This is my uh, director commentary, part two. It's been a part one that covered the first four episodes. So we're picking up here again in formal chat telling you how I do what I do with this fun and exciting series, Crazy Insane Radio, which, as you know, takes place in the fictional land of Murgatroyd City populated with all kinds of strange, eccentric, and interesting people and events. In episode four, we meet Hugh Millickson. He is the announcer and anchorman of CRZY. CRZY is a uh, station, a television station there in Murgatroyd. We meet Senator Quint, who is uh, grilling Judy Vincini, the owner and CEO of the Vincini Cosmetics Corporation at a House Senate hearing investigation into Vincini Cosmetics. And I want to give the hands out to, a shout out to Jamie Thomas, the wonderful actress who portrayed Judy Vincini in this and in future episodes. We hear reference to the Murgatroyd serial killer. We hear about a, a young near victim who escaped uh, Shimiko Hiramoto, who is the daughter of Fudiki Hiramoto, who uh, was introduced as the Japanese business magnate who's going to rebuild the paper doll factory that was burned down in a previous episode by Apronhead. In episode five, Drifties, the hamburger joint, fast food place, reappears. Again, he Millett's son appears. There's mention of a suicide note left by Apronhead. We don't get to see the contents of it yet, but there's mention of it. There's a Vincini product ad, one of the many products that Vincini Cosmetics uh, releases. And there uh, are ads for the, for two grade B movies, a double feature of the Triplex Theater. Episode 6, <clears throat> The Shooting of Senator Quint. Senator Quint is a character that I've killed off early on uh, for, for various reasons, dramatic reasons within the context of uh, my series that will unfold later on. Uh, let's just say, suffice it to say that this is a very interesting movie episode dealing with the shooting of Senator Quint. Episode 7 introduces Lieutenant Skitters. Now, Lieutenant Skitters uh, is a chief investigator, the lead investigator into the Murgatroyd serial killer who has been already alluded to in a previous episode. Uh, once again, uh, Shimiko Hiramoto is referenced as being the victim who got away, the one who escaped. Episode 8, uh, there is, uh, again, talk about the funeral procession of Senator Quint, uh, which is related to his assassination. And then we have a recurring thing which occurs in more than one episode, the random telephone call sample. Episode 9, Hugh Millickson does men on the street interviews uh, to see what the public reaction to Senator Quint's uh, televised funeral was. And again, there's a Vincini product ad and a Drifties ad. Episode 10, uh, Hugh Millickson. And we have Judy Vincini delivering a eulogy for Senator Quint at the funeral. And then we have Judy Vincino, Vincini, Judy Vincini there in the uh, studio being interviewed by Hugh Millington. And again, this part is played by Jamie Thomas, and she does a wonderful job. Episode 11, a special with Hugh Millington. Who is the Murgatroyd serial killer? The entire episode is devoted to uh, recounting uh, some details of the serial killings and some speculation and clues as to the Murgatroyd serial killer. Episode 11, movie ads again. Revenge of the Statue of the Buddha. Sex Slaves of Planet Sigma 5, and then the Drifties ad, the Drifties Hamburger Place. Episode 13 is the trailer for Exile Sex Slaves from Planet Sigma 5. Episode 14 is a trailer for I Was a Teenage Cannibal, another one of those uh, 
see the exploitation uh, B movie thriller that's always playing at the local Triflex, Triple Flex Theater. Episode 15, <clears throat> Lieutenant Skitters appears, CRZY News, and he names a suspect in the murder court serial killings. And in fact, he calls out a new character he's introduced, uh, a Count Pedestrian the Third. Episode 16, we finally get to find out the contents of the Aperhead suicide note. We have a wonderful overview of the city of Murgatroyd. The Murgatroyd Freeway at the very beginning of the of the episode is in episode 17 and 18. And Count Pedestrian uh, releases his speech in which he's trading barbs with Lieutenant Skitters back in the United States. Count Pedestrian has already left the country, of course. We have uh, financial news. The city acquiring... Uh, Uncle Crud Bucket's basic lime thigh cream. And we have a studio interview there uh, with Judy Vincini again uh, by Hugh Millitson. And at the end of the episode, the Murgatroyd serial killer issues an ultimatum to Hugh Millitson. Then in episode 19, we have the origin and introduction of a new character, Flashy the Paper Doll. And uh, that's my commentary, my director's commentary on episodes 4 through 19. Uh, What's him on YouTube? Crazy Insane Radio. Rich Bernardo Production. What's him on Vimeo? And you can watch him on the Facebook groups, Crazy Insane Radio and Rich Bernardo Productions. Again, I want to thank you for watching the episode. Thank you for listening to the commentary. Good night.